Hey guys, so today's video is actually a requested one, a highly requested one. I'm going to be talking about all my favorite products from ColourPop. I did a video just like this about a year ago, but since then they've brought out so many new products. Like when I did that video, they didn't have any of the lip glosses, they didn't have the satin lips. I don't even think they had eyeliners available. All I know is that since I've done this video, I have fallen in love with so many more products and it's just been so requested to do this video again, so here I am. I was actually going to post a makeup tutorial today when you're watching this because I haven't done a makeup tutorial in so long and I want to jump back into the swing of things but <laughs> two nights ago I used my Glam Glow Dream Duo overnight face mask that I've used a hundred times before then I've even spoken about it in my favorites video and when I woke up the next day I had the worst skin irritation ever you can't tell from far I'm not sure you can tell in this video but when I run my fingers over my face it literally feels like a sidewalk Imagine putting your hand over a very bumpy, dirty sidewalk. That's what my face feels like. I woke up and my face was so red and I had tiny, tiny microscopic little bumps all over my entire face, like every inch of my face. It's so bad and I'm on day two and it's still, it's still, it even hurts, like my face hurts. I'm giving it some TLC and when my face comes down, I will film more makeup tutorials. So until then, let's get into some ColourPop stuff. So I'm really good friends with my friend Jordan from ColourPop and I had mentioned to her that I wanted to do a video like this because it was so requested and I feel like I needed to update you guys and I have such a great relationship with the people over at ColourPop, especially Jordan and they thought it was a good idea to give you guys a 20% off on all of my favorite ColourPop stuff. It's not a code or anything but if you go on the ColourPop website, I will link it down below, there's gonna be like a little tab that says like Kathleen's favorites or something like that and all of these products will be listed under that tab, all of these specific products will be 20% off, which I thought it was so nice. They didn't have to do that. I just mentioned I was gonna film this video and they thought it would be nice to give you guys 20% off. It's a very limited time though. It will only be available for four days. So if you're watching this on the day I upload, today is Monday and it will last four days. Okay, so let's jump in. I'm actually gonna start off with my all-time favorite ColourPop product ever and it is their Ultra Satin Lips. I feel like it's a mix between a regular lipstick and a liquid lipstick. They do dry down like a liquid lipstick, but they don't get completely matte. They feel very moisturizing, very hydrating. They're not as drying as their Ultra Matte Lips. It has a satin finish, like a Ultra Satin Lip, you know, makes sense. I love it, it's my favorite thing they've ever created and I have a few colors that I really, really love. I will say some of my must-haves and some of my all-time favorites I couldn't really include in this video because they were either discontinued or they were limited editions. There were so many eyeshadows, so many lipsticks, so many products that I still use to say that I completely love, but I didn't want to mention them because you can't get them. I thought that would be kind of mean, you know? So I love all of the Ultra Satin Lips. There is not one color I don't like. I love them all, but these are my favorites. Of course, I had to talk about these three right here. These are the ones that I created with ColourPop. You've seen me talk about these a hundred times, so I don't want to go into too much detail. November is a very beautiful, like, rosy, everyday pink shade. It's such a nice, rosy color, like a flower. I don't know. I really, really love November. November. And then there's Alyssa, which is less pink than November. It's a little bit lighter. If I could think of the perfect pink lipstick, like my everyday pink that has a little bit of nude in there, I always grab Alyssa. And then my favorite out of the three is actually point zero, which I feel like this is everyone's least favorite out of these three. I love it. I wear this one the most out of all of them. I wear it in a lot of my videos. I feel like point zero just looks so cool. I, I mean, that's the only way I could describe it. It's a brown, but it's not as deep as your typical brown lipstick. It's a little bit lighter and it's more cool tone. It's a very cool tone lip, actually. I love this with just about any eye look, honestly. Cool toned looks and warm tone eye looks. I love point zero. It's my favorite. And then the other ultra satin lips I love are these. These two were my first loves. These were the colors that I tried first from their ultra satin range and I wore these non-stop. This one in Magic Wand is probably the one that I wore the most when I first tried these out. The writing is completely rubbed off on this because I used to throw it in my purse. I used to wear it all the time. It's such a beautiful nude. It's a nude, but it has a little bit of a peach undertone. It looks good with every single eye look. Echo Park is similar. It's also a nude, but it's a little bit deeper and a little bit less peachy, a little bit 
more pinkish. I also really love this one in the shade Frickin' Frack. I'm showing you like very nude shades, but for some reason in this formula, I love how nudes look. The satin lips make nude colors look beautiful, and Frickin' Frack isn't not a nude for me. It's a little bit deeper, but it could be a nude for deeper skin tones. This one is amazing. It reminds me a lot of Kat Von D's Lolita, only prettier, less patchy, so much better. I love this color so much. And then the last ultra satin lip I want to talk about is this one in the shade Panda. I don't typically wear colors like this like very rarely do I wear these intense berry shades but this one is so beautiful every time I wear it I'm like oh my gosh I need to wear this more often I love how this looks on everyone I just think it's so flattering and so fun at the same time like it's a berry but it's not too neon now I want to talk about their ultra glossy lips they have ultra satin lips ultra glossy lips and ultra matte lips they're all in this packaging but obviously they're all different their ultra glossy lips are really really awesome they come in different finishes they have sheer lip glosses they have cream lip glosses they're a little bit more pigmented they have metallic ones the sheer ones are my personal favorite because they're just so easy to throw on any lipstick this one is my holy grail this one is the best one if I could only pick one lip gloss from ColourPop, it would be this one. This is in the shade Fairy Floss. I've used this so much. I'm surprised I'm not like almost out of this. This looks good on anything nude. If I'm wearing a nude lipstick that's a little bit too matte, I will throw this on and it just, it's just... It's perfection. The undertone in this is so beautiful. It's like not too pink, not too nude, not too peachy. It's like, it's like perfect. And the other sheer finish that I really love as well is this one in Piranha. When I first saw it, I was like, oh, that's not going to be my color because it's too pink for me. But because it's a sheer finish, it just looks so pretty. I'm actually wearing this lip gloss on top of a lip liner right now. And I love it. It gives it a little something extra without being too pink. Like the pink barely shows up, but it gives you a little bit of something. I will say though that these are not very, very long wearing. You're gonna have to reapply throughout the day. I feel that way about most lip glosses, but especially the sheer finishes, there's something you're gonna wanna keep reapplying. And then my other favorite lip gloss from the line is Finders Keepers. I love this paired with Lumiere Lippy Stick. The cream finishes are way more pigmented than the sheers, but they still have a really pretty glossy look to them. They just do not need a lipstick underneath. Like you can totally wear these on its own and it still gives you full opaque color with a nice glossy finish. The sheer ones, I would recommend wearing at least a lip liner underneath, but Finders Keepers is definitely one for you if you like opaque glossy lips in this color. Like I said, I like applying just a little bit of this on top of Lumiere if I want Lumiere to be glossy. Such a beautiful like purpley mauve shade. I love it. It's my favorite cream finish that they have. So yeah. So let's move on to the ultra matte lips because I only have two to share with you guys. I will save the lippy sticks for later just so we're not like only talking about lip products. So these two are my current favorite ultra matte lips in the collection. So the first one being Lumiere 2. It was so funny because it was so requested to make this shade. After Lumiere came out and they released ultra matte lips I was getting messages almost on a daily basis like oh my gosh please create Lumiere in an ultra matte lip I don't know what it was about it but everyone wanted to see Lumiere in an ultra matte lip so thus came this baby right here it's not exactly the same it's a little bit deeper it's a little bit more purple and I love it I actually love this no I wouldn't say I love it more than Lumiere I don't know, I kind of do a little bit. I like the color a little bit more than Lumiere. I love me some Lumiere too. And the other ultra matte lip that I love so much is this one in the shade Mama. I love this for a few different reasons. I love this because it's orange and orange is my favorite lip color to wear of all time. It's an orange, but it's more of a burnt orange and but it's kind of bright at the same time if you guys are familiar with miami fever by ofra it's a little bit more orange i also really love it because it's called mama which is my name to my entire family if you guys didn't know that every single person in my family refers to me as mama they do not call me kathleen it would be weird to hear my family call me kathleen honestly i never understood why they named me kathleen with my mom being as cuban as she is I don't know. But anyway, I love it. I love the name. I love the color. Okay, so let's move on to eyeshadows. I feel like this video is going to be like a million years long. I need to speed this up. As most of you know, ColourPop makes amazing eyeshadows. Gotta give a shout out to my first babies right here. This is the Where the Light Is quad that I created with ColourPop. There's a creamy vanilla shade in the quad called Glow. This one is brand new. I went through my old one. I use this to highlight my brow bone or my inner corners. It's matte. There's this shade right here, which is called Cornelius, which is a really pretty 
pretty everyday transition shade. It's also matte. It has such a pretty undertone. I love this transition shade. And then there are two more fun colors. This really pretty bronze shade called Blaze has a little bit of glitter throughout it. And then there's this shade in the quad, which is called Kathleen Lights. I don't know why I named it Kathleen Lights. I, I don't know. But it's a really stunning gold with a little bit of orange in there. It's like a very warm, very warm, warm warm gold. And then my other quad that I created with ColourPop is also 20% off for four days if you guys want to check them out. This is the quad called Where the Night Is. It's in the black packaging. I think this is my favorite quad that I created. I love the original one, but this one is so cool. I have this shade right here, which is called Porter. It's a very reddish burgundy. It's pretty much matte, but it has tiny little flecks of glitter in it. Really, really beautiful on the lower lash line. I have this shade called Weenie, which is a stunning metallic rose gold really really pretty it's a little bit more pink than the typical rose gold and then I have this one in the shade telepathy which is probably the most unique eyeshadow in my collection it's like a metallic chartreuse kind of yellow green so so insane and then this color in the shade midnight which is a deep blackened almost green but not really green it's like a deep black with a crap ton of little flecks throughout it. Those were the eyeshadows that I collabed with ColourPop that of course are my favorites, but I have a few to share with you from their regular line. So my first favorite, I think this is my favorite ColourPop eyeshadow of all time. I'm even saying that I like this more than my eyeshadows. Like I wish I would have created this. I love it so much. This is in the shade Waddles and it looks like your average pinky nude brown color, but it is stunning. I love how this color looks all over the lid. Whenever I use this, that's all I do. I just put it on my entire lid, some eyeliner, and I'm good to go. I love this shade. It's just so feminine and so pretty. Next up is a color that I probably mentioned in my last ColourPop Favorites video. You're going to see a lot of repeats because there are still things that I currently love so much. But Game Face is just one of those colors I will always go back to. It's similar to Kathleen Lights, only way, 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 way more orange. You can see the difference here. Kathleen Lights is this one. It's a little bit more gold. This one is like a metallic orange bronze shade. I don't know. It's so beautiful all over the lid. In the summertime, mm, this color is delicious. Another favorite of mine is this one in the shade Elixir. You're going to notice that a lot of these colors are warm eyeshadows. I just... I really love warm toned eyeshadows and I didn't want to include other eyeshadows that were a little bit more cool toned if they weren't my true honest favorites so forgive me for that but this shade in elixir is beautiful I love this color in the crease I use this with a fluffy synthetic brush this is the morphe e27 it's like a synthetic crease brush and little by little I'll just start applying this into the crease I'll build up the color and it looks so beautiful this is actually the color I have all over my crease another favorite of mine isn't necessarily my favorite because I think it's anything out of this world but I love the name it's called Central Perk which if you know me you know that Friends is my all-time favorite show like nothing compares I love Central Perk I love Friends and I have this eyeshadow smudged underneath my lower lash line today and I love it for that I never really use this color on my lid believe it or not I always use it to smudge out my lower lash line when you swatch it a lot of the purple really comes out and it looks so cool and smoky on the lower lash line another favorite of mine is this one in the shade Muse this is another like newer favorite for me I've been using this one kind of like an eyeshadow topper I'll just take some on my finger like when I'm done with my makeup and if I want a little bit more oomph to the look if I'm wearing like a warm eye look, I'll just start stamping this on my eye and I feel like it makes the look come together. It's very similar to Weenie, only Weenie is more rose gold. This one is a little bit more reddish. So my next favorite is a, an eyeshadow I have been using since I discovered ColourPop. I've gone through like two of these. This eyeshadow is called Mittens and if you've been following me for a really long time, you might know that I love this so much. I love this on my lower lash line. I love this all over my entire lid. I actually have this all over my lid today and then I applied Muse on top with my finger. And that's mainly what I use it for. I always use it as like an eyeshadow base. And if you have green eyes or hazel eyes, I would highly recommend Mittens. I know it looks like so dark, but the red undertones really, really show up on your eyes. I don't typically love the matte finish eyeshadows. I will say that their metallic shades, their shimmery shades are way better, but Mittens is like amazing. Next up is this bad boy right here. It's the only colorful eyeshadow that I have to share with you guys, and it is in the shade Coconut. If you like blue eyeshadow, you need coconut in your life. This is the most beautiful ocean. I don't even know how to describe it. In the light, it looks like super blue, but then in other lights, it almost looks like an indigo. Oh my gosh, I don't know. I love this eyeshadow so much. I've only worn it like 
five times. But for a blue eyeshadow, that's a lot. That's a lot of times. Two more eyeshadows to share with you and then we will jump into some eyeliners. This one is called Lala. I know for a fact that I spoke about this in my last Best of Colourpop video because I have loved this bad boy for a long time. This is my second one. This color is the most beautiful rose gold ever. It's also similar to Weenie, only it's more golden. Weenie is more pink. Can you tell? Well, they look very similar now that I'm looking at them, but they're not. They're different, I promise. This one is Lala and this one is Weenie. I love wearing this with a little bit of a brown crease color and then putting this on my entire lid and it's like so beautiful. This looks so stunning with waddles also. So I love it. I love it. I love this color. But every time I pick this up or I apply this to my eye, I have the freaking Ashley Simpson song in my head. You make me wanna lie. And then the last eyeshadow I want to talk about is in their limited edition holiday packaging, which by the way, I'm very into ColourPop. I love this black packaging. We should discuss this because I really, really like this. It's in their limited edition packaging, but this color is permanent. If you're looking for a bronze with a crap ton of glitter in it, definitely look to Thirsty Girl. I like this even more than I like my eyeshadow Blaze. This is Blaze on steroids. It's nicer it is it's so much nicer get this thirsty girl is seriously amazing if you're into really brown warm bronzy eyes you need thirsty girl in your life like you need it okay so let's talk about some eyeliners because ColourPop makes my favorite eyeliners of all time they make the best colored eyeliners when it comes to black and brown i do prefer my nyx très joli eyeliners but when it comes to color color pop just it's so it's just so they're the best. My favorite of all time has to be Mr. Bing, of course, because it's the one that I created. I love the shade. It's what I'm wearing on my waterline right now. It's a brown, but it's a very, very warm brown. It has kind of like a red undertone. This just really makes your eyes pop. Call Me is also another really great one. It's a brown, but it's a very, very deep, deep, deep brown. It's not your typical brown, and it kind of has a little bit of a red undertone as well, or like a purple undertone, but very slight. It's so stunning. This one is also really amazing. This is in the shade Honey Dude. If you're looking for a nude to just apply to your waterline to make your eyes look bigger, you need this in your life. It's just a nude eyeliner, and I feel like it's a necessity for some of us. And then out of their like really colorful ones, these three are my favorite, favorite, favorite. This one in the shade Get Paid is such a beautiful metallic copper, but it has a little bit of rose gold mixed in there as well. I love this color so much. I love it on the waterline. I love it really close to the waterline and just smudged on the lower lash line. I think it is beautiful and I think it's fun to have a metallic waterline every once in a while. And if you're in the market for a green eyeliner and if you're in the market for a blue eyeliner, look no further. These are amazing. This one in teaspoon is so freaking good. Whenever I wear any sort of green eyeshadow anywhere on my eyes, I usually will wear a teaspoon on my waterline just because I feel like it pairs so nicely with green eyeshadow. It's a stunning color. The same goes for this blue one. This one is in the shade Beasting and it is the most intense, most like eye-catching blue ever. They seriously stay on my waterline. They don't go anywhere. They're amazing. Ugh, gosh, I, gosh, I, I don't think I've ever said that word. But anyway, I love their eyeliners. Okay, so let's talk about some highlights. I have four to share with you. So the first one is called Lunch Money. This is such a beautiful highlight. I attempted to use it today on my face, but there was so much texture that I applied like this much because I didn't want to highlight all the bumps on my face. But this one is a very light gold. It's a very white gold, but it works for the fairest of skin. Really, really beautiful on the cheeks. Next up is Smoke and Whistles. This one has tiny little flecks of glitter. Lunch Money doesn't. This one does, but it's not like glittery. I don't like glittery highlights. It doesn't look glittery on your face. It just looks like extremely highlighting. It's a very light shade, but it does have a slight pink undertone. And then this one is also amazing. This one is in the shade Wisp. Very, very similar to Becky highlight in the shade opal they're like dead on dupes it's stunning I can't wear this unless I do have self tan because it looks a little bit too gold on my face it's such a pretty highlight so beautiful and then the last highlight I have to talk about is my newest one but oh, I love it this one is called flexitarian and this one has a lot of glitter in it as well but it doesn't look glittery like it doesn't look chunky that's what it is it doesn't look chunky on the skin you can tell with this one that there is like glitter you know, like little glitter particles, but it's so fine that it doesn't look bad. I love this, especially for my inner corners. It looks so, so freaking beautiful. I would recommend this one if you have like light to fair skin. Okay, and then the last category 
is lippy sticks, which is what initially made me fall in love with ColourPop. Last time I filmed this video, I don't think their matte X formula was introduced. No, it wasn't. That's pretty new. Which is like their matte formula, but on another level, on another level. The matte X formula makes their matte lipsticks look like not matte. Um, some of them are very drying on me, some of them I do not like, but for the most part, most of them are amazing. They are super, super, super matte and they last all day and they're fabulous. Let me talk about those first since I'm sitting here raving about them. The first one is Chateau, which I feel like I've spoken about recently a lot. It's probably my favorite matte X lipstick they have. It's a very, very blackened red. It's like a black cherry. So beautiful for the holidays. And then this one in the shade Trust Me was like their first release. Like they introduced the Matte X formula with this lipstick. And it is a red, but it's like a pinky red. It has like a slight pink undertone. It's so beautiful. And then the last Matte X lippy I have to talk about is Poppin. Which is the most beautiful pink ever. It's like a deep magenta pink. It's so girly. It's so fun. This with like a really bold winged eyeliner. It looks so cool. Oh, I love this color. And then there's these lippy sticks, which are their original formulas. I realize that all of these are matte except one. I really like matte lips. So I want to give a quick little mention to my babies right here. These are the three lippy sticks that I created with ColourPop. Two mattes and one cream, which I think this is my most used ColourPop lippy stick of all time. This is in the shade Aquarius. It's definitely my most worn. Out of all of my collabs with ColourPop, this is the color I wear the most. This and point zero, believe it or not. I just, I wear these so much. It's such a beautiful pinky nude and it being a cream finish just makes it look so shiny and so like, yummy and then i have taurus which is a matte lippy stick and this one is a very beautiful warm brown on medium to deep skin tones it'll probably come off as like a nudie color on me it's a little bit deeper and then of course my baby i wear aquarius more than this but this will forever hold a number one spot in my heart this is my first collab ever this is lumiere it's a matte finish and it is the perfect mauve color it's mauve with a little bit of purple but i mean i feel like this color looks different on everyone it's one of those shades that really depending on your lip color and depending on your skin tone it's just gonna look so different and then these colors i love so much so much they're all like in the red family well, this one's pretty brown. This one is in the shade Grunge. It's another matte color. Well, all of these are matte. I love this. It's a brown, but it's almost like a burgundy brown, but like a light burgundy. I don't know. I feel like this color is really hard to explain. It does look very grungy, though. Like, if I can think of the perfect 90s lip, I immediately think of Grunge. So fall and wintery. I love this shade. This color in Frenchie is like my favorite red lipstick that ColourPop creates. It's a fire truck red. It has like a slight coral undertone, like... Like, very slight, but it's very bold. It's like a very loud in your face red. I've worn this so much It's so beautiful and then I have the shade click which is another must-have for me whenever I think of the perfect red orange Click is the first thing that comes to my mind. It's a red, but it has a strong orange undertone. It looks so beautiful in the summer Seriously, if you guys don't have click and you love like red oranges you, you need it. And then the last one I want to talk about is Chi Chi. I don't know why I said it like that, but this is a super orange lip. You can tell the difference between Click and Chi Chi. This one is like orange. It's very orange. It actually reminds me a lot of Max Morange or Morange, however you're supposed to say that. It's pretty much like almost the same. I love it so much more. I love Chi Chi. Okay guys, so that completes this video. These were all of my must have ColourPop products. I didn't mention any of the lip liners even though I really, really love them because I thought that this it would make the video even longer than it already is and I thought it would be like unnecessary. But I love the matching lip liners to all of these lippy sticks. So if I mention a lippy stick in this video, the lip liner will also be 20% off when you go on the website. Just to give you guys a heads up because I love their lip liners as well. But I do want to give an honorable mention that looks like it's been through the ringer. Mine is like yellow and banged up. This is the lip liner in the shade Skimpy. It's my favorite ColourPop lip liner ever and I don't really like the Skimpy lippy stick. The lip liner is amazing. It's my favorite nude lip liner they have. It's like so stunning. Okay, so yes, that completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Hey, how long will this be 20% off for? Oh, four days. Okay, okay, okay. Between a regular lisk lipstick. Fudge. I'm drinking orange juice. One of those colors that I will always. Son of a. Copper. Oh.
Oopsies.